Hello there. So, let us get the elephant out of the room first of all. Yes. I am a blonde. Some people are going to be like, ooh, I like your hair. Then there's going to be some of you that are just like, I can't believe you've done this. But that's fine. That's fine. Everyone's allowed their opinion. I like it though. So that's fine. Today I have a very exciting video, which I am pretty sure I've not seen anyone do before. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I've not seen anyone do this before. So if you haven't noticed, I am a 90s kid. Now my generation, growing up, we were very much heavily influenced by the multiple, multiple, multiple commercials on television telling us that we needed all of these different toys and art supplies telling you what you, as a child, needed to beg your parents for. Are you a kid who already owns every toy that's ever existed but you feel something is missing? Introducing the Wonder Box! looks, feels, and behaves just like any other box, but this one is called the Wonder Box, so you definitely need it because all those kids at school already have it. Use it as a phone. Play catch. You don't need friends for the Wonder Box. Don't be left out. Order your Wonder Box for only 12 payments of $19.95. The other day, I came across a little box that I had when I was about 9 or 10 years old. It had a bunch of different artwork in there. And it reminded me of some supplies and art related stuff that I desperately wanted as a child and I remember asking for for Christmas. And I thought, hey, you know what would be fun? Going on eBay, trying to find those same art supplies and then trying them out now. I hope this is a good idea. So there was this kit when I was a kid that allowed you to make rainbows and stuff like that with one like sponge paintbrush that you'd brush into different colors and you'd be able to make like a whole beautiful little rainbow um and i was like what was that called it was rainbow something so i went to ebay searched rainbow art and there it was are you ready for the new rainbow art set introducing the brand new deluxe kit the original rainbow watercolors uh you got your little sponge things then you brush them into the colors and then you make your art. It's, it seems like a stupid idea now, but it was, you know, it's a gimmick thing. As a kid, I desperately wanted. They also came with Rainbow Art Watercolour Stencil Set, which I did not have at the time. So those will be fun. The second thing that I found were these Whammo, the original Whammo, magic pens. Imagine pens that can change colors or reveal a secret message. It's magic. No, it's magic pen by Whammo. That's what I bought. I did want to find something that was like going around at school a lot as a kid were those like little uh, ballpoint jelly roll type pens, but they smelt of stuff. Like I had, I remember I had a, ban a banana. Don't like bananas. I had a mint one a strawberry one, and I think I had a blueberry one. I had like four, and they were so expensive, and then there was always those obnoxious kids that came into school like, mm, I got 10 new pens over the weekend. Ooh, it's not even my birthday. Just shut up. I am genuinely curious if anyone else had these, and if they're still even a thing, they might be, but this was like the exact set I had as a kid, so. And I'm gonna say this goes back a good 14 years. So this is the set. It's a lot of, I don't remember having that many brushes to be honest, but yep, that's the set. As a kid, I was very excited for my first rainbow watercolour set. Uh, I remember I made so much crap with that thing. Like my poor mum, you know, she, my mum was the kind of mum that would have all of my paintings on her fridge. I must have made about 50 sheets of paper of circles and like weird rainbow things. I just feel really bad for my mum. Oh, and does it, it looks like you can, can you, no? I thought maybe you could change the, oh, you can, you can change the, the, the direction of where you have the rainbow. You do more than ever before. These brushes have definitely seen better days and they've not even been used. These have been used. So I'm going to pretend that the person I bought this off of didn't just totally rewrap the entire packaging um, and just go ahead and use it. Ah, no. Right. 
Sponges are dampened. Is that what it tells me to do? I don't know. Right, so I want to do the little rocking horse thing because I thought that was cute. And we're just going to sort of... Ah. I definitely feel this worked better when I was 10, to be honest. And there we go. Just needs a second coat. Like that. I think if maybe if I moved it over a bit to cover that bit up, it might look okay. So if I try now to do his head, just whoop, like that. There we go. That's not too horrendous. Or am I kidding myself? Every drawing is incredible. I literally feel like a child again. This is very, this is very liberating to me. The joke is, you know 100% that the actual pieces on the front of this cardboard box was done by adults and not the children. Yeah, easily make awesome rubble. And now you'll also get this awesome mega brush. Wow. Because I am an adult, at least sometimes I'm an adult, and I'm not doing anything as good as that. Like, how did they do the bottom? Like... Like, hmm. Oh, he's quite cute, right? Ta-da! Here is my little horse. Every drawing is incredible. Gonna call him Sheldon, the Shetland pony rocking horse. So that's him. I'm a professional at this now. You've got to kind of like slide it along like that. You dirty up the other colours, but that's fine. And then you get this lovely little funny thing. And then you just like spin it, jagged. That's terrible. Every drawing is incredible. I don't remember how I did those cool circles. Maybe I had a smaller one. It doesn't look good. Every drawing is incredible. Straight down. Whose birthday is it today? Let's make you a happy birthday thing. Happy birthday to whoever's birthday it is today. Happy birthday! Next up, let us try our magic pens. These pens were as seen on TV. I'm not sure if they still do some similar to this because it strikes me as the kind of thing they would still just blare on television all the time. Um, oh. Okay, so these are colour changing pens, meaning that when you draw like this, and then if you go over it with the white pen, It works. It's magic. Look at this. Look at this. Look. How flipping cool is that? This is an as seen on TV product that actually works. This is a miracle. Yeah, I'll give that, I'll give that a, you know, a decent enough rating. They're very, very, very pigmented. Oh, that is literally magic. It's magic. How cool is that? So apparently, you can take the end off and then you can blow through it in order to make it like a splatter effect. The only problem I have with this is it's been in somebody's basement. So you put that in there. I don't want to put my mouth on it because germs. Here's our stencil. We're gonna just fill it in with these markers. So what I don't understand about this is all of the examples they've got on the side here, none of them have used the magic effect except for like one colour. I think I'm going to spell my name because I think that would be fun. C-H-L-O-E. Okay, this will be the E. C-H-L-O-E. Yay! Okay. Well, you know what? I think this is such a cool idea for kids. 
I genuinely do think that I, I can understand why I wanted this as a kid because it is fun. I would love to know what supplies you use as a kid and if there's anything you would like to see me use next. I was going to buy, and this is going back like to Christmas time, buy one of those big kids like art sets because I had so many of those as a kid. But like I wanted these because I physically had this exact brand. They say that blondes have more fun whatever that means, but I think that's a lie. I think bronze have more fun because we play with children's art sets. You just, you know, if you're not bronze, ooh, be jealous. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun today, I'm not gonna lie. I thought this was actually very, very enjoyable. I had art supplies as a kid. I loved art supplies. I was thinking about getting one of those massive like kids box sets, you know, with all the really, you know, like crayons and pencils and stuff. Um, I've actually been wanting to try doing that since like Christmas time, but they're actually very expensive. I'm not even sure if that'd be something interesting, but maybe in the next video, let me know. Give it a thumbs up if you would like to see me do this again. I hope you're all doing very, very well. Take care of yourselves and I will see you in the next video. It's magic.